Well, more power outages thanks to this latest yeah. bout from Mother Nature. Yeah, this just days after some folks got their power back after Irene. Tonight, people are dealing with new outages in places like Ledyard. News 8's Tina Detail on the scene in a community where it's been one nightmare after another of late. When folks here in Ledyard went to sleep last night, most people had power. But when they woke up this morning, more than 90 households were back in the dark. Many of those here on Seabury Avenue off Spicer Hill Road. As I have my sister coming on Friday and I was going to vacuum and do the laundry and get things ready. And I guess that's not going to happen. Elizabeth Rhyme was out of power for about a week before it came back on and then went out again Wednesday morning. While she says being without power is an inconvenience, it could always be worse. I think about, you know, like I had said, the people who survived the tsunami and, you know, losing your power for a week is, is nothing compared to that. This is the longest uh, outage that uh, we've experienced since we've lived here. And he's lived here for more than 20 years. We caught up with Bob Perico when he went for a walk because he was tired of sitting in his dark house. He considers this outage as a continuation of recovering from Irene. And he is comforted by seeing this CLNP crew at the end of his street. They've got to make it right, otherwise we'll uh, lose it again and again and again. So uh, I'm thinking that uh, yeah, they're making it right. A lot of problems are coming out as a result of uh, the one week outage. Things that were getting, were aging, have sort of broken down entirely. Oh, okay. And so there's going to be a lot of scenarios like this developing. While folks tell us they are not happy that they lost power again, they are happy to see this crew respond so quickly. On the scene in Ledyard, Tina Detell, News 8.